Welcome to our Foundations of Faith online video series. In these brief teachings, we will share what we Family Church believe the Bible teaches on some of the core tenets of our faith. In this session, we'll be looking at what the Bible reveals about itself. What is the Bible and why is it important to our lives today? Now, the Bible is the best-selling book in all of history. As Americans, we're very familiar with this book. Every home in America has an average of three Bibles, and thanks to the Gideons, it's in every hotel room in America. Yet most people have not read it, nor do most people really understand what this book is all about. Now, to learn about the Bible, we got to go directly to the source. We're going to look at what the Bible reveals about itself. 2 Timothy 3.16 says this, All Scripture is, God, is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, so that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Now, this passage teaches us that all Scripture, that's all of the Bible, is inspired by God. That means the Bible is unlike any other book in human history. It contains the very words of God. And the Bible is also profitable for the Christian to make us complete, to make us equipped and ready for every good work. So if you want to know what God said and how to grow in your faith, the Bible is the source. Now, the Bible contains 66 different books, Two Testaments, Old and New, was written by over 40 authors in three different languages and was written over the course of 1,800 years. It was penned by prophets, priests, apostles, disciples, eyewitnesses, and many other people. 2 Peter 1.20 says this, Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things, which means the Bible isn't a book filled with man's opinions or, as so many people think, man's views, right? Verse 21 says, For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. This scripture reveals that we must understand the Bible is God-breathed, meaning God spoke it to holy men who recorded it and passed it down. It was written as a revelation from the heart of God to mankind so we can know who God is and what he desires and wishes. The Bible contains prophecy, poetry, history, stories, promises, and doctrine or teaching. It also records the lives of flawed men and women, their mistakes, and the mercy of God in dealing with flawed human beings. And the ultimate apex of the Bible is the revelation of the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, who we read about in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Now you may be wondering, how's the Bible fit into our world, or more importantly, my world? Well, first of all, the Bible is the only book that's alive. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrows. It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. Somebody once said, when we read the Bible, it reads us. And that is so true. So many times when I've read the Bible, God speaks to me about something that I would not know otherwise apart from his word. Number two, the Bible was given by God to humanity as a gift, as it gives us what we need to know about God, about ourselves, and really how we can live lives that are pleasing to God. Number three, archaeologists have tried to disprove the Bible for years, but every archaeological discovery has been consistent with what the Bible says. For example, the Dead Sea Scrolls were found in 1947 in caves near the Dead Sea. These scrolls contain fragments of almost every book in the Old Testament dating back to the 3rd century BC. These scrolls confirm that the Bible we have today is the same Bible they had back in the 3rd century. There have been no transmission errors. Number four, science does not contradict the Bible. Science and physics actually affirm it. For example, the Bible confirms both the first and second laws of thermodynamics. If that interests you, look into it. I'm not going to bore the majority of us here, plus it's way over my head. Number five, those changed by the message of the Bible affirm it, both its spiritual truth and its reality. So, how should we approach the Bible? Well, number one, read it. Find a reading program or a reading plan that works for you. There are many different reading plans on the Bible in an app called YouVersion. It's a great app where you can find tons of different reading plans to help you in your studies. We also have our family church reading plan on our website or church app. And you can watch one of your favorite family church pastors share from God's word every morning through our app or website under daily encouragement. 
Romans 12, 2 says, don't conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And so as we read God's word, we're able to renew our minds so that we can know what God's will for our lives is. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, your word is a lamp for my feet. It's a light for my path. Number two, memorize it. Psalm 119, 11 says, I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So the more God's word gets into us, the more it comes out from us. Number three, study God's word. Attend weekly church services. Join a Bible study group or small group at one of our campuses. Again, go to our website or app to find out more about both. You can also pick up one of our free leather-bound study Bibles in the lobby at church and use the study notes to help you as well. Number four, apply it to your life. Our lives are transformed as we read and obey God's word, not just learn it. Remember, revelation plus application equals transformation. John 14, verse 21, Jesus said, those who accept my commands are those who, and obey them are those uh, who love me. And I and the Father will love them and reveal myself to them. Number five, share it. As you read God's word, look to share it with those around you every single day. Mark 16, 15, Jesus says, And then he, Jesus told them, Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. So family church, we hope that you've encouraged this quick teaching, you've enjoyed this quick teaching on the Bible. To help you process what you've just learned, we have a few questions for you to answer on the bottom of the page. Otherwise, go to the next video in the series and continue to learn more about the foundations of our faith. God bless you.